So let's get started. So here we'll see how to set up theme data globally for your app. Now to do that first you have to go ahead and create a class. You can name it anything. Here I have the class name as app theme. And after that over here we have created an instance of theme data class and the instance is saved as app theme data. It's a static member. Well, we just want to access this from this app theme class using a dot operator. And then inside this theme data we also have this uh, properties like brightness app theme now, there are a lot more properties that we can play around if you hover over on this you'll see that there are tons of properties that we would be able to use now over here for simplicity we have picked two one is brightness and there is app bar theme now brightness tells you that whether your app is in light mode or dark mode now over here we have light which means that we can see the app visually that is light or white, not dark. Now that's how the app looks like uh, for now if you go ahead and check. But if we want to change it to dark mode, let's go ahead and do that. Now let's restart it. Over here we already see that our bottom bar became dark. And over here we see that our UI became dark as well. But of course it doesn't affect the app bar itself. So it also doesn't affect the custom widgets, okay? But you get the idea. So this is the place where you need to set up your uh, theme, whether your app is being light or in dark mode, okay? All right, that's the first thing. Now let me go ahead and restart it, and it's gonna go away. Right. After that over here, we do see that app bar. Now this one also we have set globally. So over here we use the class or widget app bar theme. So it's a class actually, not a widget. And over here elevation zero and background title, background color white. Now we can take a quick look that if we somehow change this elevation and the background color, we'll see that it takes globally. Let's restart our app. And here we do see that the elevation is much more obvious and the color is blue. And as you, as you go down into your app, we still see that same has been persistent even over here. Okay. All right. So that's how this global settings works. So once you are done, once you are done with the settings, all you need to do over here inside your material app, remember inside your material app, you need to call this class, which the one that you created, which is app theme and a static instance and you are good to go. And after that, make sure you restart your app. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, there are tons of settings that you could do. So you just have to go through the properties and you'd be good to go. All right. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.